Are you a happy seven month old? Are you a happy seven month old? Huh? Say good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Oh, you want the camera? What are you looking at? Alright, here we go. So Gabriel is seven months old now. And a future cameraman. What do you want to do today? You want to go for a walk? Nice weather? Maybe we'll go to the grocery store? Okay. See what Mama says she wants to do when she gets home. Okay, so we're finally getting out for that walk. We uh, got a little delayed. He needed to needed a diaper change, and then it was time for his bottle, and then during his bottle he fell asleep, and then when he woke up, weather was looking a little iffy. Eh, as you can see, it's still Looks a little bit like it might rain, but he's up from another nap and ready to go on an adventure. So we're going to go over to the pond, hopefully find a shady spot to sit down for a few minutes and watch some ducks. What do you think? You like that idea? Okay. We went to the park and then walked over to this nice bench. I took the baby out of his car seat and sat down and all these geese approached us. Jacob, don't do geese. Back up. I will knock you out. Oh my gosh. Like, that's my knee. There's birds. Oh my goodness. I may have made a mistake. What do you think about those birds? I'm not gonna let them get you. Goose fight, goose fight. There he goes. I feel like I need to make something real clear. I'm an animal lover. I like animals, I don't hunt. You know, I, I just think they're cool, I like animals. Except for geese, because I had a bad experience. Oh no, this one's too close. This one's too close. Gabriel is fascinated by the geese. He has yet to have a negative waterfowl experience to jade his opinion of these birds. Sarah had a rough day at the office today, so she's spending a little bit of quality time with the baby, and I offered to run to the grocery store and get all that knocked out so she wouldn't have to worry about it. I don't mind because it gets me out of the house, gives me a, you know, kind of a reason to go somewhere in the evening, but I have a little bit of an impulse control problem at the grocery store. I tend to buy things that we don't need. I have a list. I always have a list, in fact, but that never stops me. I always deviate from the list and end up buying something. I may be walking through the ice cream section, which I no longer use as a cut through from the back of the grocery store to the cash registers at the front because I always walk through there and see something that I want. Uh, darn you Bluebell and your limited edition ice creams. <laughs> so it's always a risky move when I go to the grocery store alone. If I'm with Sarah, she keeps me in check. She takes things out of the buggy that I put into the buggy. 
it's always good to have her there. She's kind of my uh, checks and balances, if you will, when I'm at the grocery store. But I am alone and starving. So they tell you you should never grocery shop while you're hungry. Well, we're sending a, a guy with a grocery store impulse control issues to the grocery store on an empty stomach. I'm chewing a piece of gum because I read somewhere that that kind of tricks your brain into thinking that you're not hungry. And so in, in an honest effort to not buy a whole bunch of garbage we don't need just because I'm hungry and happen to see a new flavored Cheez-It or Blue Bell ice cream. So in an effort to avoid those things, I'm chewing a piece of gum and I'm gonna keep my eye on the prize, check off this list and get out of the grocery store. I have a strict don't go down the wine aisle rule because I see neat bottles and neat labels and wonder, wow, I bet that's going to be nice and I end up buying it. Honestly, I'm not real sure how I ended up on this aisle. Well, I made it out of the grocery store with only two items that weren't on the list. And in my defense, they were not impulse buys. Uh, they were items we needed that we forgot to put on the list. So I saw them, realized we needed them, and got them. Uh, but no impulse buying this time around, and I'm feeling pretty proud of myself for withstanding temptation. But the bad news is Sarah sent me a text asking me to pick up cheese for her lunch, and I forgot. So I have to go back to the grocery store. So I'm going to unload these groceries, take care of dinner, and then go back. So hopefully my stomach will be full and it'll be later on tonight and I won't want to be at the grocery store. I will, but I will want to be home. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get in and out and won't, you know, see a bag of chips right there at the cash register and grab that just, you know, on impulse. Good news. There was cheese in the refrigerator, so I don't have to go back to the grocery store. I'm headed out to get dinner, and I get the rest of the night off. So I'm going to edit this, get it posted. Uh, be sure to like this video if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any other videos. Tomorrow we're going to be posting Gabriel's seven-month bump date video, so you're going to want to see that. And comment. Tell us what you think. Uh, any impulse buying uh, deterrence you have for me, I would greatly appreciate it. So. See you guys next time.